Welcome back to new exercise in SOLIDWORKS. Today we are going to model a simple T-joint or fitting pipe fitting in SOLIDWORKS with the help of basic feature. I hope you like it. So let's start to create this model. Let's take a simple exercise T-fitting or T-joint male uh, modeling in SOLIDWORKS. So let's start with, uh, we don't have dimension, just follow these steps. Let's, we will start with front plane sketch now here I am going to draw a pipe size. So let me draw two circles, inner and outer. Right click say select and out of the sketch. Now activate internal diameter 21, external 30. Okay. Now go to feature and activate extruded boss base feature. See here start plane we will keep same end condition direction one this is direction one see the arrow is moving this direction now we have to apply here length 45.2 okay this is suitable for our job that's why i'm going to take this okay let's keep active okay next step let's say i'm going to activate chamfer here chamfer type angle distance keep full preview tangent and here I am going to choose chamfer parameter 3 by 45 degree select this one ok now again I am going to choose front plane sketch now I need to make outer body hexagon shape let me activate hexagon see here 6 number of sides in scribed circle exit now first let's select this upper edge and make relation horizontal. A smart dimension. Now distance of this inscribed circle with this outer circle. The distance between two, let's keep one millimeter. Okay. Now I'm going to select this internal circle because I want to extrude this body and convert entity. Now see, we have hexagon body. Let's extrude this body also and uh, everything same, keep direction 1 blind, end condition, the width 23 millimeter. Say ok. See here. Now let's try some thread feature. Now I want to make some thread here, say ok. Now first we need to choose age of cylinder, so I am going to select this age. You will see here, now I am going to keep offset 0.5. Let's move inside so that a thread will be like more visible. Now here end condition, either I am going for blind or up to selection. I will go for revolution 4.75. That's it. Now, thread dimensions, I am going to choose inch tap. Because I want to extrude tap, that's why I am going to keep extrude. Now it is, uh, it should be green, not red. Now size, 1 is to 8 inch. Now come down. Now here select thread method. I want to extrude, so here select extruded thread. Look, this is become green. Now this match with profile. Right hand thread, perfect. Say OK. And here, this is our thread. Now I am going to select 3D sketch line and I am going to select this end point and draw somewhere line and uh, select this line and this circle tangent relation. This is important relation. See? Either you can create plane here or uh, let's exit plane. First reference plane. Let me select right plane and select this line. See a perpendicular plane going to create. Say OK. Now select this plane. A sketch. Activate here. Let's say three point arc and where is our line okay select this point 
exit. Now select this line and this circle or arc tangent relation. This is important. Smart dimension radius 10 millimeter. This is uh, and uh, I am going to draw this one up to somewhere here. So it's not going to now simply exit. Now go to swift boss base. Now here choose sketch path and profile. In old software you need to create profile. So just simply select this face and uh, convert this entity and simply create a sketch then come here swift but in latest software you don't need this simply choose this face and the line is already selected now here I am going to select merge tangent faces say ok now let me hide both now look how smooth thread is seems the same thing I am going to do here. Now let's activate plane. I am going to select this plane and select this point, end point, even though you can simply see point 2, create a plane on that point. Say OK. Now select the plane, sketch 3 point arc and just find out the plane. This is the point. Now select the plane and 3 point arc make relation tangent. Smart dimension radius 10 millimeter okay now end point you don't need to define let's keep little inside so it won't going to hamper swift boss base now profile already selected let me select the face you will see the preview merge tangent faces say okay let's hide Now here we have this one. Now let's apply, go to direct editing, move copy bodies. Now select the body. Now make sure selected copy and we need two more number of bodies. Go to rotation and here select origin. See this is the origin point. This is exactly at center. Now Y direction. You will see here this green color is Y. I want to rotate 90 degree one piece again 90 degree another piece that's why we selected two copy here and let me put 90 and select somewhere here you will see this three body say ok but these are different three bodies you will see here three different bodies so activate here combine tool choose here operation type add and let me select these all three bodies show preview see ok now it's become one okay let's do some more what we can do let's add some fillet constant type fillet symmetric here let's say three millimeter and i'm going to select one two okay again fillet this time constant type fillet and radius two millimeter that's fine and select this internal ok just go back and check what else ok we done almost 9 things are here done again some more fillet constant type fillet and 0.5 this time is smaller one and select this internal face so it look more realistic oh and delete this 
okay select this face sketch let me activate center line i want to draw some name or something like here now activate here text select line and here write cad cam okay now select this one bold okay location is perfect everything is perfect at mid now uncheck this font 5 okay that's fine but i want to change something uh font different font arial 6 that's it extrude and make a small one 0 0.2 something thickness something like this okay see now material you can apply here or appearance you can let's say brush finish see it's still some more thing balance inside so i am going to activate here direct editing delete face okay before going that let me okay take this section view so that i can uh, see the inside delete face now let's select these all face which i want to delete okay these are not connected delete and patch see now this face i am going to choose this face sketch select this internal circle or let me create a circle better up to this one select internal circle and this make cordial and activate extruded cut feature and make here up to next next means this outer face inner face and see here that's it don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks thanks for watching